Uh, couldn't be happier for our players and, and our coaches. Um, tremendous fight, tremendous resolve. Um, good football team that we beat today in Texas Tech and did it on the road and uh, had some adversity and fought through the adversity and um, you know had, have had a couple of uh, tough weeks. Uh, but I also told the guys that we're getting better, we're growing, uh, guys are believing, we're, we're, we're heading in the right direction. And uh, this was a big win for the program so that the guys know that the direction we're heading is the right way. And, it's, and uh, I couldn't be happier for our seniors uh, to rally the troops this week. And, and we played a lot of guys. And we were beat up out there. And we played a lot of guys. And guys stepped up and made plays. And uh, we just had to finish. We kept talking about finishing and believing. And we did that. And uh, happy for the win. What kind of lift did Josh Youngblood give you on that return? Big play, you know, uh, and some great blocks, and he followed the blocks. But, uh, you know, the special teams part, I, I thought we won each phase, even if it were by a little bit. I thought we won each phase, and that was a big play um, to get us a, a quick score. I thought maybe the D-line looked tired late, but then Wyatt Hebert makes a huge sack, makes another one later. I thought his plays in the fourth quarter he, for you guys. He was, he was determined. And uh, yes, I mean, we played 81 snaps, and, and uh, uh, that's probably about average for what Texas Tech is, is doing. And, and when you throw the kickoff return in there, then you're back to back on defense, which is, which is always difficult. But uh, I thought Wyatt really stepped up, especially in the second half. And I, I kind of knew as good as we played in the first half on defense, and we played lights out in that first half, they were going to make some really good adjustments, and they did. But we found a way late to get a couple stops. Yeah, what was it to you that made the biggest difference in the second half for both offenses to get going? Well, our offense, I thought just we blocked a lot better. I did. I thought we blocked uh, exceptionally well. And then we had talked at halftime about we had to take some shots vertically. And we took a number of shots vertically, got a number of pass interference. How about Seabass? What about Sebastian? What a great job of, of uh, going for the football and, and creating a number of pass interference. And then uh, I thought Skyler threw a great ball to him on the touchdown. And then and you just got to give um, Texas Tech credit. We threw everything at them in the first half, and I thought we did a phenomenal job. Um, but they, they're a good offense, and that's what a, a tempo offense does. They make adjustments. But I was still really pleased. Obviously, the last touchdown that they make, uh, um, we were out of position. We didn't blow the coverage. We were just out of position. But that was probably the only time all day that I thought we were out of position. And against that offense, that's pretty good. On your last possession on that third and 11 deep, what did you see on Skylar Thompson's scramble for a first down? Well, um, I think it was more designed to run a QB draw uh, because they were playing some two-man against us, trying to take away Dalton. And, and, um, and so they weren't having eyes to the football. And I thought Skylar did a great job of letting it clear uh, and then making a guy miss to get a first down. And, and, and that's something that it was really big for us with four minutes left or whatever it was and they're kicking from the 50 and they yes. kick off deep and say okay we're going to get a stop and uh, hats off to our offensive line and, and to James for a big run as well that uh, we were able to kill that clock with two timeouts left for him. What was the key for you guys surviving all those injuries and still getting by? I, I goes to everybody has a role on this team and you own your role and you don't know when you're going to be called upon but when you are you got a ton of brothers in there that that you're battling for that you got to step up i thought lance did a great job uh we were going to play him this week he's been really doing a good job at practice we were going to play him no matter what then all of a sudden walt goes down early in the game and lance is playing basically the whole game with d-pad and so uh did a great job there then we lose uh, Malik and now Sebastian's getting a chance to come in and make some plays and so it's just the next the next man up and, and we're beat up there's no doubt about that but uh, so is everybody else and nobody's going to feel sorry for you so the next guy's got to go ready be ready to play. Do you have any idea on the severity with Malik and Walt? I, I don't um, hopefully we'll know early in the week. I was also going to ask too the, the flag that Josh got on the after the kickoff return, what was it specifically that he got flagged for? I think it was an for? unsportsmanlike, and I didn't see it. The guys in the box were telling me um, he, can't, he can't do that. He knows that. I know he's an excitable guy. He's 18 years old. This is his second kickoff return in the Big 12. I want him to be excited. I want him to have some juice. But uh, um, whatever he did, we've, we've got to clean up. But um, we, we like Josh Youngblood back there returning kicks. On the late interception from Skyler, is that a play where you think a deep shot's like a like a punt if it gets picked off, or was that a mistake that maybe he made you didn't want him no, to throw? No, I, I didn't mind that because we tried to throw the underneath route and they took Phillip away, 
And so then he took a shot on a third and what was it, five or six. Uh, and so, no, I, I was okay there because, you know, you're trying to make a play. Plus, think of it from the kid's perspective. We threw it deep six, seven times, and they just mug us, and they're calling pass interference penalties. So let's take a shot. Is this the kind of game that can really launch you guys? I mean, you guys went, went ugly. You show your moxie today, and Do you think we won survive. ugly today? Hmm? Do you think we won ugly today? <laughs> we only got one game left. How much is this going to catapult us? We got one game left. We found a way. But you're, you're right. I, I mean, Scott, it's probably never going to be just perfect for us um, because we're learning our systems and, and we're beat up and, and those other things. I just, I, I was so excited because the guys are believing that we're getting better. And I, I know when I told the guys, does it show up every Saturday on the scoreboard? No, but I see it every day in practice. And that's what I want. I mean, this is, I'm not building this thing for one year. We're seeing this thing five, six, ten years down the road if Gene will have me here. But I want to make sure that those guys say, hey, we can find a way to win these games. And I, that's what I'm so excited about is the guys believe. Yeah. Uh, another pick for Daquan where he got great depth, where he started pretty close on his scrimmage and made an interception. How good has he gotten at that part of his game? He's gotten so much better at zone coverage, and Coach Hayes has done a really good job of, of, of emphasizing that. And uh, to go along with that, Denzel Goolsby came up big time with his interception after they after they ran the fake punt and they went right to work and and Denzel did what we asked him to do, be a great center fielder back there and make a big time play. Did you see the block Skyler threw on James' run to get that I first did down? Not. Was it a good block? I mean, James was, was kind of bottled up, and then he broke it outside, and uh, that was a big play. Anything else? Uh, I, I know it didn't end up mattering because Denzel intercepted the next pass, but what, what did go wrong on that fake punt that they ran? We talk all the time about covering those guys all the way down until they get within 15 yards of Phillip or whomever, and we had a lapse. I'm sorry to call him for about 15 yards and not for about 30 yards. It was it was something that we've talked about um, and something we we got to make sure that doesn't happen again. But it's it's a good play by them. We kind of fell asleep, to be honest with you. Sorry to call the win ugly, but this is uh, okay. Uh, it still counts. It? <laughs> <laughs> this this is kind of the version of Big 12 after dark here. Things just got kind of kind of crazy. What has the Big 12 season been like for this team and for you as a whole the first time through? It's a great learning experience for me. Um, uh, just uh, the, the venues being tough. This was a tough – the band never would stop playing today when we would have the ball. I mean, it, it was really difficult uh, for us to get some plays off. Uh, but the venues are tough. Uh, the athleticism is exceptionally well. But you, you just got to keep fighting. You're always in games. And that's the thing I'm so proud of is the guys keep fighting in every game. And, and obviously, as a staff, we're going to learn a lot as we go back at the end of the season and see all the opponents and, and, and the commonalities between the teams. Anything else? Good. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.